Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy, from In the Stars by Christy.com. Now, please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Aquarius out there. I would say that when it comes to readings like this one, Pay attention to the keywords, the key themes that I am mentioning as that is most of the time what is going to be applicable for each and every one of you. So you might have to use your own intuition as you go along through this um, if you want to make the best out of this reading. Now, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just go straight down to things. And the first card that I have here for you guys is I have two of wands, which I have over here. And um, two of wands is basically a lot to do with your own planning, decision making, the things that you have thought about already. And it could be, you know, could be that you are waiting for something all at the same time. It is being crossed over by the page of cups, which can be that maybe you're waiting for some form of messages. You're waiting for some form of sign, or it could also be that you're literally, you know, waiting for someone to contact you, or maybe you're thinking about contacting someone, you know, because we do have the nine of cups as a foundation card of this reading, I would say you know, that this has a lot to do with some form of emotional trigger inside of you maybe this is that this is the the month we're in you could be feeling um very emotional inclined you know the things that comes into your mind the actions that um that affects you uh, is being triggered in a very emotional manner and i don't mean to say that it's it's gonna create drama or anything like that it doesn't have to be that way it's just that your heart right now is speaking in a very powerful tone which can um, make you um, take action in certain things or it can actually give you some form of thought wherein you might need to reflect on something think about something you know maybe reconsider a few decisions that you have made or a few decisions that you are planning um anything with those, in those lines in the recent past we do have the queen of wands the queen of wands is actually a wonderful card it could be signifying a specific woman in your life or um someone in particular it could also have a lot to do with your own confidence your own optimism Maybe the decisions that you have already taken in the past or what made you really, really happy. You know, the sense of happiness in the air and all of those things can be a very important aspect into into this, you know, whatever it is that you're contemplating on. Because I kind of feel that you could be reconsidering something, maybe thinking back on something is also possible um i just kind of feel that there's a lot of waiting a lot of contemplation being done over here and because at the top of the reading we do have the page of pentacles which is all about focus you know the page of pentacles is a messenger card all at the same time just like all pages are i just kind of feel that when it comes to the page of pentacles you're considering something in a very serious tone you know it's not something you know you, you you just take for granted there is something that you are focusing in a very serious manner there's something that you're really you know um it's like it's not just emotional inclines um i would say there is some form of practicality to them you know there is really something that you cannot stop thinking about i would say and it's not just based on your own emotions i kind of feel that there are plannings you know specific actions specific plans that are coming into your mind regarding this situation so um in the near future we do have the hangman so you know i am not seeing you making any des decisions for this month but I do see that, you know, this is the time for you to think. This is not a time for you to act, though 
some of you might actually take action. I feel that for some of you, especially when it comes to relationships, there could be some form of problems might come up or there could be some form of issues that allows you to not really make progress when it comes to relationships. This could be the time we're in, you might want to resolve problems or you could be in the middle of a misunderstanding. You could be in the middle of, of some form of, uh, I would say, something that you need to clarify on relationships as a whole. This could be the time we're in some form of um, responsibilities, completing something, ending something might be coming into place. I just kind of feel that this has a very serious tone into things. You could be beginning something, ending something, um, either of those considering something, but whatever, um, whatever these are, these are very, very important for you and they are just I kind of feel that they have foundation into things. It's not something that you just thought about yesterday. It's not something that just came up into your mind today or the other day. It's something that, you know, it's already deep rooted in your heart, in your mind, and in your whole being that, you know, it's something needs to have some form of conclusion, basically, is what we're getting here. This can also be a time we're in. Um, since we have the queen of pentacles over here this is something that you know queen of pentacles is a very patient person uh you, you might be thinking about someone who has been there for you for quite a while and someone that will i would say someone that you can always lean on especially when there are problems and troubles that you are experiencing with the page of wands, maybe some of you guys might be wanting to speak with this. Maybe you want to speak to that person again if you haven't spoken with them for quite a while. Yet at the same time, you know, we have here the death card. So there are a lot of fears into this. And there are thoughts about sacrificing something. And I kind of feel that for the most part, we do have the Nine of Swords as the last card that they're uh, of the deck not the reading so because this is the last card of the deck i would say that it has a th uh, the knight of the swords has a theme into this so you might be in a in a place or in there are fears that you are being you're feeling as a whole with this you know there's a lot of regrets maybe because of a bad decision making and all of that um we really don't know at this point in time but um, there are some feelings that inside of you that is somehow very, very complex to deal with um, at this time. So this could be the time that you might uh, see the pros and cons of the decision that you are about to do, whether what is the right thing to do. I just kind of feel that you are going to be focusing on what you are going to be feeling. So there are... There could be, you know, a lot of deception, energy, envy that might be coming into your mind maybe because of some form of mistakes in the past or maybe of what you have not yet achieved, what is not satisfying you, you know, there could be a lot of these feelings that are coming up and then everything is just getting jumbled or all together. So this can be very much of a reflective time for a lot of aquarius people out there i would say that you are at the point of a breakthrough moment you know you know so this is not the time for you to really be stagnant but there could there could be some form of solutions from your past maybe there is a decision that you have to do that you have been postponing each and every time and now is the time that you know you face the reality you face that this is what i have to do and maybe that clashes with your own ego that clashes with your own belief system but i just kind of feel that you know this is the time for you to double check on something from the past so that it helps you to really move forward and face forward and you know be able to move forward as a whole 
you might need to sacrifice quite a few things you might need to maybe apologize or maybe someone is about to apologize to you and you know i just kind of feel that you know there is like a hole inside of your heart that needs to get sorted out first before you can actually move forward and i feel that you know something might occur within the month of september that can help you face um your problems it's just that it's going it's not going to be easy because it's going to play tricks in your mind it's going to play tricks in your own fears in in your own consciousness and in your own unconsciousness all at the same time so you have to you, you cannot escape this if you're encountering some form of problematic situations it, it could be in a very psychological level all at the same time you know it could also have to do with some form of guilt um i don't know <laughs> what that could be but um i just feel that um instead of escaping this patterns that is happening to you right now you have to face it and confront to whatever solutions that you can make with it apologize if you must um make the effort to communicate to the other person instead of running away i feel is the right path for you but uh, as a whole because the overall card of the reading we have the two of pentacles this is this could be the time we're in you might need to think and see what is the right decision to make definitely this is not the time to you to make final decisions that is the least thing you can do so um, with your astro dice, the fourth house is being activated and we have their Capricorn all at the same time and um, the North Node, which is Rahu as well. So the fourth house has a lot to do with our emotional well-being, our home, what makes us feel safe, our stability in life, you know. But I always see the fourth house as just not, not having to do with home, though it can be. It can be a family issues, issues at home, or I just kind of feel that most of the time the fourth house has a lot to do with our own emotions, you know, what makes us feel at ease in life, what makes us feel at peace, um, what makes us feel happy, you know, and comfortable, you know, not needing to be always, um, not always on guard on what other people would say what other people think about us and all of that it's that point wherein you feel safe so these are the things that may be um in focus right now that you might need to sort out if you if you want to to have a sense of freedom i just kind of feel that a lot of aquarius or at the very least in this reading the aquarius that i'm picking up might have a sense that they are feeling trapped you know it i'm not saying that they are trapped in a very literal way but there could be a sense wherein there is a sense of feeling suffocated and they they might need to make some form of decisions or at the very least they need to think about making a decision to how they can resolve this issue and they cannot resolve this alone they need to connect they need to talk to someone and they need to um maybe face their fears the things that you don't want to do the things that you are trying to escape are the things that you need to face head on if you want to to really move forward with your life and really um really move on if that is what you are desiring at this time Aquarius so yeah this is my reading for you guys I hope that you find this insightful one way or another it gives you guidance into how you might be able to move forward or how you might be able to you know undergo the changes that might be happening in this month so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i'll see you guys again next month if you do want a more personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me through my web my website in stars by and i shall see you guys again next month